Hey devs, welcome to Cheat Developer Battle 99. So this version of Cheat Developer was released some hours ago. Well, this comes with a lot of um features. Okay, sorry about that. Um, here we go about Cheat Developer and um, it's new. Well, this comes with a lot of features. Well, first of all, we get this um the dynamic lights which we'll be working on in this um tutorial and i'll um, get this peer to peer connection extension well it's an experimental peer to peer and we get the um or we have the new solarized dark theme which i will be enabling um um soon okay and we also get this improvement and um bug fixes and internal changes okay so that's um switch to the new um themes so five preferences and um the solarized dark theme so here's what it looks like Okay, so let's take a look at the Cheat Develop Lights example. Well, this version comes with a new example. Um, here we go. Okay, so here we go. It comes with a new example, which is a game field demo. It's a lovely example. I'll make a video on it um, soon. Okay, so let's scroll. And Cheat Develop comes in with a new light example. Here we go. Lights. Okay, so here we go. This is what it looks like. So let's preview this. So this is a new object. Like I said, it's only available with Cheetahball Battle 99. So device updates your version. So here we go. This is what the light object looks like. Um, this is lovely. It's um beautiful. This is a new feature in Cheetahball. Okay, so today I'll show you how to achieve this light or how to work with the light objects. G develop. So file um let's create a new project and um let's create an empty game. Here we go. Okay, so let's add a new scene and add a scene. Okay, so first of all the light object to so add a light object, well it's an object, so you have to click on the add new object and here we go. Here we go, the lights displays the light on the scene with a customizable radius and color, and then the light obstacle behavior to so the object that must act um, as obstacles to the light. So we have to set a behavior for our. Okay, so let's um, select this the light object. So first of all, we get the object name. I'll name this light. And we can select the color right here. I think white would do. So you can select the color of your lights right here. You can choose a debug mode which um, when activated displays the lines used to render the lights useful to understand how the light is rendered on the screen and this is the radius of the light i think it's let's go with um 200 and um you can just set a texture for your light um well a texture to be used to display the light if you don't specify a texture the light is rendered as fading from bright um in its center to dark okay so we have a color as white okay so here we go now we can pull our lights into the scene now let's add some objects uh, which would serve as obstacles for all lights so add new objects and uh, sprites let's add an animation so just copy my um an object right here this would do here we go okay so copy minimize and um add an object let's add and i'll just paste that right here paste in there and we have this just name this obstacle now you need to give this a behavior um here we go add the behavior scroll all the way down here we go light obstacle behavior this behavior makes the object an obstacle to the light the light emitted by light objects will be stopped by the object so you can check that and apply so now let's put this into the scene so about that Okay, so we have this here, and we have this here, and we have this here. Let's paste this here. Okay, and one more here. Okay, that's good. Now let's preview this. So here we go. Um, it looks good. Now I'm going to add um, top down movements for our lights so we can observe how the light works um, better. So. Lights behaviors add a behavior um top down. Here we go. So apply we need to change um in settings. So preview. So here we go. 
as you can see we have this um shadow at the back of our um, our objects there we go it looks um lovely there we go really beautiful now you need to understand something about the light object it uses the objects um hitbox as you can see this is our object hitbox so if you don't want this um you know the space right here you can choose to um edit your object hitbox right here objects edit hitbox and um let's add a custom collision mask and add that so you can this is what he actually uses now as you can see this is the size of the square so um i'll close this just to show you guys apply and um preview so there we go now as you can see this is our hitbox so it's using the um hitbox okay so let's um edit our hitbox and hitbox and um okay i'll position this right here here and um here one more here and um here okay so that looks um it's better now okay so let's close and apply let's preview this so there we go that's it looks really nice now nice and neat so if you don't want this um really straight lines as you can see we have this um straight lines right here for our shadows you can choose to add an effect which will be the blur effect and luckily once you create a light object you get this um layer right here you get a layer um named lightning i think you can edit that yeah you can edit that okay yeah you can edit that okay so now you can choose come to effects right here click that edit effects and um you can add an effect i think the best effect so far would be the um blur um here we go coerce blur let's select that and we have this so this is the quality i think you need to focus more on this well we don't want pixelized we don't want to pixelize it so let's set that to zero and um zero so let's um the quality well if you want a really good quality i think i'll set that to one okay so the higher the value um the uh, blur, more blur it looks okay so now if you're wondering what this um right here is on um, bulb well it's to edit the lightning property you can edit that and um the lightning layer renders an ambient um, light on the scene all lights should be placed on this layer so that shadows are properly rendered by default the layer follows the base layer camera uncheck this if you want to manually move your camera with events so there we go now we can select the ambient light color right here right now it's set to a gray color we set that's red close that apply and preview this and you can see this sets it um, to red so here we go we have this really good looking um light so let's close that and i'll go back and edit this so let's set this to great um grayish value and right here okay apply that now we have this um really good so let's go to events let's see what um actions and conditions we can actually give to our light object so let's go to events and add a new empty events add a condition so light here we go so light for the conditions well um we don't have any condition for our light object so this is actually the top down movement um condition so for obstacle let's say um same here no condition okay so let's go to events let's check out our events and let's select a light object okay so here we go we get the set the color of the light object so we can set the color of our light object and we can set the radius of our light objects right here so for the color let's let's just set the color of light objects in formats red green and blue okay so this works with the red green and blue so you have to understand something the red green and blue actually stop at 255 so you cannot exceed 255 so you have to go with this double coat now for our red which would be our first value i'll go with our well i'll go with 100 here and you have to go with this a semicolon right there and i'll go with um 200 a semicolon and maybe um 50 right there okay so this will set the color for light objects to this let's preview this 
So there we go. That's the um new color for all light objects. There we go. Looks really nice. So let's test out the um let's add an action. Let's um test out all light objects. Let's test out the um here we go. Let's set the radius. Set the radius of all light objects. Let's set. Let's try. Let's use 500 for this. Okay. So let's preview this. So there we go. And it looks much better. So that's it. Um, okay. Then we have one, one more. Let's check this out. Add an action and obstacle. Okay. So we don't get any for this. Okay. Once again, let's preview this. So presently, we get two actions and no condition for all lights objects. This is um nice, lovely. We have the shadows, we have all lights, and this is beautiful. Okay, so um, thanks for watching. Um, hope you understand how the lights objects works. Um, okay, so that's it.